This example shows how to use Visual Slope to perform a slope stability analysis. From the File Select box, you can choose an existing file. Choose the New Project option for a new project. Then click the OK button. In the general setting box type in the project information, choose the units for length and force. Set the range from left to right and the elevation from bottom to top. After finishing settings, click OK. To set up material property, click the material button. In the material input box, type the material properties in. You can store or withdraw material properties to or from the material bank. To withdraw material properties from the material bank, go to material bank and select the material and click export. Go back to the soil page. The withdrawn material is on the list. Once finished, click the close button. The coordinates can be found on the vertical and horizontal scale as well as the coordinate display. You can type the coordinates into the coordinate input box separated by a space. Then press enter. To stop drawing, right click the mouse button. To edit or delete a line, choose the select button. Then choose the line to edit or delete. The line edit box appears. Choose the line to edit or delete. Click the delete button to delete the line. Then exit. The line is deleted. Use the undo button to undo the last action continue to draw the profile. The program has a snap on feature. Use the boundary line to draw boundary lines. Edit a point. Draw water table. To add surcharge, click the load button. You to draw a water table, click the water button. Draw the water table as you draw the profile lines. To specify the surcharge intensity, click the select button and select the surcharge. In the line edit box, type the surcharge intensity and exit. Save button. Save the file. Single click the material button, and move the cursor to the place.
where the soil properties to be assigned, and single click. The soil properties are assigned. Continue to assign the material to the profile. To define an analysis, choose the Analysis menu. We use Circular Failure Model for this example. To define the initial and termination points, you can type the coordinates into the boxes. Or you can click the coordinate button and move the cursor to the position and click. Specify the number of failure surfaces to generate. The Spencer method is an option. To perform an analysis, click the calculation button. After calculation is completed, click the failure surface button. Seven the most critical surfaces can be seen by clicking each failure surface button. You can also see all the failure surfaces and surfaces with different factor of safety range. Now let's perform a translational failure analysis along the soil and rock interface. From the analysis menu, choose specified single failure option. Failure surface input box appears. You can type the coordinates into the input box, or you can the arrow button and move the cursor along the failure surface and click the left mouse button. The first point and the last point should be slightly above the ground surface. The failure surface must be defined by more than three points. After complete, close the box. Click the calculation button for calculation. Click the result button for the result. To search more failure surfaces neighboring to the specified failure surface, define the search width and number of failure surfaces to be searched.
This is end of the presentation.